Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to search records and bind into data list control using stored procedures. And here we got the output of that code. I'm entering the employee details. One. Here we got the details of the employee ID 1 which is Charan. Let's check the table. See employee ID Charan, email ID and salary is 5000 which we got here. If I enter 9 such, see in the employee ID column there is no 9. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we'll create a new stored procedure for this employee table. I have created this employee table in the sample DB database. Let's create a stored procedure in the sample DB. I'm scrolling down. Notice this is a programmability folder. Expanding that one. Right click the stored procedures. New stored procedure. I'm deleting this default code of the stored procedure. Create procedure BBO dot search employee details is my stored procedure name. I'm creating a variable at ID is equals to ID int is equals to zero as begin select id name the next column is the email and salary let's add those ones email and the last one is a salary from the table name is dbo.employee table copy that one and paste here where ID is equals to at ID. And that's it. Let's create this stored procedure. Execute. And here we got a message come and completed successfully. Let's check this. Such AMP details is created in the stored procedures or not. I'm refreshing this folder. I'm expanding the stored procedures folder. Notice and notice here the search EMP details store procedure is created under store procedures folder. Now it's time to write the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new project. Go to file, new project, and from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is search records store procedures data list control. Click OK. I'm selecting empty templates. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding a new web form page. I click the project name, add new item. I'm selecting web form. The web form page name is search data list SP store procedure add. And here we got the source page of the newly created search dlsp.aspx page. Now, but in the form and do tag, I'm adding center tag H1. How to search and bind records into data list control using stored procedure. Horizontal line. 
after the horizontal line I am adding three controls one is a text box control the second control is the button and the last control I am adding the data list control let's add toolbox text box control button control the button control I'm changing that button label search after the button control I'm adding one horizontal line now I'm adding a data list control open toolbox I'm expanding the data folder here we got a data list control I'm adding the data list that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the search button control first I am adding the namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data.sql client using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces now I am adding the my database name in this server explorer open that one right click the data connections add connection I am adding SQL server name after adding the SQL server name I am selecting the database name sample tb is my user database test connection it succeeded ok ok and here the sample db.db row database is added under data connections right click the sample db.db row go to properties in the properties connection string notice the data source copy that one open solution explorer web.config file open that one now inside the configuration I am adding connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I am adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the source code now in the button click event I'm writing the coding part string main con is equal to configuration manager dot connection strings when double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding main con SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command now SQL command takes two parameters one is a command text and the second one is a connection object between double quotes I'm adding my store procedure name which is such EMP details copy this one paste here comma the second parameter is the SQL connection object which is SQL con SQL con dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value between double quotes I'm adding at ID comma the object value I'm adding text box one dot text let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL data reader as dr is equals to SQL com dot execute reader method if SDR dot as rows 
if the records are found I want to bind that record in the data list control data list one dot data source is equals to I'm adding the SQL data reader object which is the SDR data list one dot data bind method as if the employee ID is not found in the table I want to display the message for that I'm adding one label control after the center tag open toolbox a label control I'm deleting the text property from the label switch to the code behind label one dot text is equals to employee ID plus plus is not found now between this plus plus I am adding text box one dot text I'm making the data list one dot visible is equals to false and label one dot visible is equals to true and here data list one dot visible is equals to true label one dot visible is equals to false that's it we have written the coding part but in the data list control we need to add the item template in this item template I'm adding a table element tr td employee name percentage hash eval I'm adding the column name of the table name email and salary name let's copy this one this one in the double quotes email email salary salary that's it now it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the output of that code i'm entering the Employee details one. So here we got the details of the employee ID one, which is Charan. Let's check the table. See employee ID Charan, email ID, and salary is five thousand, which we got here. If I enter nine, such see the employee ID nine is not found. Let's check in the table see in the id column see in the employee id column there is no nine so we got a message employee id nine is not found let's align this label in the center just copy this one this year i'm rerunning the browser link and here the label is at the center. That's it.